I S U P K. We're the we're the, we're the the less desire in this kingdom, and that's only because we don't hearken to the voice of our Lord, our power, man. We don't hearken unto these laws, statutes, and commandments. You got a question? Yeah, that's an imposter. That ain't Jesus Christ. That would be more like him. As described in the Bible, you ever read that Bible verse? He is black, right? You agree with that? You don't agree with that? You don't agree with that? My, 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 if you could, give me that sign. Hey, listen up, Israel. We got a white man over here, right? What's your name, Mr. White Man? Matt. Matt. So Matt says that Jesus Christ is not a black man. What is your proof that Jesus Christ is not a black man? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, oh. You don't know either. Matt, you don't know. So, so why do you why do you say he's not a black man? How do you know? Why do you say he's not a black man? Because he is no way he could be a black man, right? Right? You just said he wasn't. But you also said you didn't know. Now, explain to me and all these black people that's acting like they're not paying attention, but really paying attention. Explain to me why you think Christ is not a black man. I don't know. I never. Okay, so if you don't know, then why say anything? I never, I never met the man. He's he good. He ain't, you ain't causing no trouble, right, man? Yeah, I never met the man. I know you never met the man, but he's in history, right? So are the Jews in history. Let me get from Babylon to Timbuktu out of there, please. How do you know? How do I know? Do you want me to describe him in the Bible? Sure. You do? Revelations 1 and 13. This is, this is why we come out here, black people. Black people, y'all better turn around and listen to this. We got Mr. Matt over here, and he says that Christ can't be a black man. We're going to get the description of Christ. What did you say? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you said he was black, and you said, how do you, how, I don't believe you, right? You said something to, what did you say exactly? I said, I said, I don't, I don't know why you're saying that. Well, why did your people put, if you don't know, why did your people say he's white? I'm going to tell you why. White supremacy. That's white right. supremacy. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the description for you out of the Bible, and I'm going to get proof historically what Jews actually look like. Do you care to listen? Do you care to listen? I'm, I don't have to listen. I'm teaching. Can I, can I say one thing? You can say whatever you want. It's a free country. That's why I'm up here. I'm going to go ahead and read Revelations 1 and 13. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. Go ahead. In the, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one leg unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. This is John the Revelator. Y'all know John, right? John was a black man that you devils locked up on the island of Patmos. Right. Right? John had a revelation. And what did he see? He saw seven candlesticks. And in the middle of those seven candlesticks, he saw something that looked like a man. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden I'm going to do something that your Christian pastor can't do. Christ had on a garment that came down to his foot. He had on a golden girdle, which is a belt. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. That's right. Hold that up. Do, those, do that look like woolly hair? That's strike one. This devil got, this devil got blonde hair and blue eyes. 
devil. Oh yeah, absolutely I called him a devil. That's not Jesus, I already told you that. Right? The, the Bible just said he had woolly white hair, did he not? Did I read that? Can I say one thing? You will, as soon as I get done. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was pasty as snow. And his feet like unto fine brass. So unless you have a skin condition, your feet are the same color as your face. That's right. Run. Right? So it says brass. Brass, right, is a derivative derivative of brown. Right. So his feet were brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. Not only was his feet brown, they were so brown it looked like his feet burned in a furnace. That's right. Now you tell me. Is this devil, a.k.a. deceiver, that's what devil means, a deceiver, does it look like he have brown feet? As if they burned in a furnace? So when you come up here and you tell me, why do we have a picture of black Jesus? I'm asking you, why does your people give me a white Jesus? That's right! When that ain't in the Bible. That's right! Now ask your question, man. You can say whatever you like. You can't use my mic. I paid for this mic. I can't say nothing. Yeah. No, you can't hold it though. All I want to say is why cannot black and white people get along? That, have, that's uh, an excellent question. Take, okay, okay. Why can we not get along? Black, white, uh, people, whatever, we're all people. Can we not get along, please? For one day, for the next day, here in Nazareth? Can we not just get along, please? I'm not, I have no brace to my body. Okay, so, so Matt, I just want to make sure that everybody who's not acting like they're paying attention are listening. Matt asks, why can't white people and black people get along just for one day? Right, and Matt claims that he's not a racist. I, I, I get along with everyone. No, you said, I know, I understand. I'm saying why can't black people, right? Oh, you don't want us doing this. This whole thing is like, you're, you're, you're dividing us. And, oh, I'm dividing us. You know what, I, when I feel divided? When I get red lines. What? I get when I get when my people get shot down in our neighborhoods without guns, you see the brother got shot forty seven times up in Akron, Ohio. Did you see that? No, they actually turned they said forty seven. They shot at him ninety times. That's heinous, right? You think don't you think you should be protesting against them except against me? Right? You here in my face, right? I'm not divided. What I'm doing is gathering my people. You're not on the same page as me, Matt, because it's your people that's killing my people. That's right. I, I, I can't come together with you. Do you understand? I can't. I can't trust this. I don't know this white man. He ain't never did nothing to me. I don't have anything personally against him. But I can't come together with him. Why? Because he has proven by being a part of his race that he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. They have. You have deceived the earth. You have murdered. You have gentrified. You have raped, robbed, pit, raped, robbed, pillaged, murdered, everything. So, so I can no longer come together with you. I, I tried. Me and my people tried. We tried fighting in your wars. We tried celebrating your holidays. We tried going to your churches. We've tried it all, Matt. I'm a white devil. Oh, absolutely you are. Absolutely. You're a devil. He's a devil. He's a devil. They're a devil. Those are little devils, right? So if we're doing that bullshit, you're a drain of that fucking economy. I'm draining. Oh, so that's how you that's how you really feel? <laughs> See? Clap it up. Clap it up for Matt. Clap it up for Matt. Matt just said all you niggas over there are drains on the economy. That's how the devil really feels right there. When you don't bow down to the devil, he really tells you how he feels. That's right! Thank you, Matt. Thank you for letting us know your true colors. Let me get Psalms 55 and 21. Let me tell you something about these devils. You see how Matt tried to come over here and talk real sweet and real nice and says, you know what? Why can't we just all get along? And then when Matt couldn't get his way, he's like, all of you are drains on the community. <laughs> I love when the devil chokes. See, listen, don't ever fall for the devil, man. That devil right there is just like every other devil walking around on the street. They talk good words, but this is what they mean. Read Psalms 55 and 20. Oh, God, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 55 and verse 21. He put forth his hands against such as to be at peace with him. That's Matt. Matt come up here. 
We're not bothering Matt. We simply exercising our First Amendment right, right? We gotta, we can come up here and talk just like KKK members can come up and you know have rallies and everything else, right? Right? We at peace with Matt. We ain't doing nothing to Matt. And the scriptures say this devil, they be at war with people who be at peace with them. Read. Right. He had broken his covenant, right? Matt and his people, they break covenants with me and my people. Right. Just like they did with the Native Americans to the tune of over 100 treaties that they have on record with Native Americans and they broke each and every one of them. Right. Each and every one, read. Right. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. You see how Matt came up here? Matt came up here and was talking real good. Matt said, why can't we all just get along? You see that? Matt said that's like, why can't black people and white people get along? And Matt was so sincere. And then when I didn't agree with Matt, what did he do? Matt flipped me off and said, you're a drain on the community. That's why I love, I love when white people show their true colors. I know you hate me. Guess what? I have no love for you at all. That's right. Read. But war was in his heart. He talked real good, but war was in his heart. Just like every other devil. Read. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Matt's words were softer than oil, but he hates black people. That's right. He hates Hispanics. He hates Native Americans. Right. And you should know that as a lesson. Your average sure white man that, that comes up and I talks sure to you and walks too. with you, sure. right, and tries to have a conversation and tries to be nice with you, he hates you. Right. And with that, we the ISUBK started at 1 West 125th Street, Hall of New York, under Commander Jim Hunter, and that's my time. Shalom.